tabular bins are containers of equal size that store data values corresponding to or fitting in a bin size. We can say that bins group a set of data into groups of equal interval or size making it a systematic distribution of data. In Tableau, data from any discrete field can be taken to create a bins. We mostly use meshes fields to create a numeric bins. Bins are very useful in data analysis as they provide a systematic data range that helps us organize information better and discover pattern easily. Let us see how to create a bin with measure values. Here you can see that we have uh, uh, these are all the measure values okay that discount, uh, sales, quantity, profit. Okay, you can create a bin by right clicking on any measures and if you click on create you can see the option called bins. So once if you click bin because I already I have a sales bin so it is showing that sales bin too. You can change it. Okay. So the default size bins will be 447. So if you want to change the size, you can change the value from 1 to any number. Okay. So I'm just giving 1.5 and it will show the range value. Okay. So minimum you can give like 0. Okay, and uh, we can go maximum up to 22,633 to sorry, 22,638. So, I'm just giving 1.5. Okay, if you give suggest bin size, it will tell you what size you have to give. Okay, that is 447. You can also change this if you want it. You can change it to 10, you can change it to 1.5. So, it's all up to you and how your visualization should look like click OK, you can see that the bin sales is created here. Now, let us drag and drop subcategory to, okay, let us drag and drop sales to the columns. That is bin sales to the column, okay, and the sales, that is the normal sales to the row and make it, instead of sum, we have to change the measure count okay you can see the measure changes over here next we will drag and drop region to the color so we are going to just see the sales bin size region over the color based on the region so we have dragged and dropped the region and the sales we are also dragging the sales to the label and let us change the label to the measure as an average here you can see the average sales. If you want to make it as a proper bin, you can do like you can sort it either in ascending or in the descending order. You can see the changes here. So you can also change the size. Click here and you can see the size over here to make it very appealing to you. Okay, so this is how you can create a bin and see how it looks like. So if you want to see more uh, labels to it, you can add some more labels into it. So here, the bin field on the x-axis, okay, this is your, uh, that is, this is the x-axis where this is the bin field, okay, and this is the y-axis where we have the sales, okay. So if you want to change the bin size, for example, after seeing this, if you feel like you have to change the bin size, can just go to the bin which we have created which is available in the data pane so click on the drop down and uh, sorry right click here you can see on the sales right click you can see edit option okay click on the edit and you can change the value over here click one and if you press ok you can see the changes in the bin Okay, so it all depends on how the visualization you are going to create it and how appealing it should be. So you can change the color, you can change the size, so it all depends on your 